Olé! 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 I'm practicing my Mador skills, GB1. Duh. Olé! Well, our friends over at the Moyo store sent us a really cool build from Machine Planet. It's that Sterling Bull. And if it's anything like that anglerfish we built, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Olé! Oh, you're, you're right. Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. Uh, I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this is my Matador assistant, GB1. You haven't agreed to it yet. In this episode, we're gonna be building the Sterling Bull from Machine Planet. And this comes to us from our friends over at the Moyo store. And if you haven't checked out them yet, you definitely should. They have all kinds of really awesome builds on there with unique things like little lights and B3 players, and of course, watches. No matter what kind of interesting build you're into, the Moyo store has a build for you. Now, after finding that really awesome model at checkout, if you enter code Groove, you'll not only get a discount, but you'll also be supporting the channel, which I think is pretty awesome. Now, what tools are we gonna need to build this Sterling Bull? Will it all come together? And what does it actually do in the end? Does it light up or have an MP3 player in it? These are all great questions, Groovers. Let's get down to the workbench and take a look at our package. There we have it, our parts list and examples of our instructions. At first look, these might seem overwhelming, but don't worry, we got this. The first thing we're gonna talk about is building the basic pancake. Next, we'll go into our springs and wires and how to properly put them together on our bowl. And finally, we'll touch on our horns. Groovers, there's a lot of parts here and it's gonna take some time to get everything together. Let's make sure we have the right tools before we get started. Timothy? Finally, some ball I approve of. The Machine Planet Sterling Bull is a build that will leave you feeling like Lego is for noobs. The build comes with most of the tools you will need like pliers, T-nut tools, and two adjustable screwdrivers. However, to deal with some of the smaller parts, I recommend tweezers and part organizers as well. Now, where are the keys to the china shop? Thanks, Timothy. He's never gonna find that key. As always, these are just our suggestions and you really don't need anything but the tools that come inside the kit. However, having some tweezers around to help you with the smaller details and getting those little washers in place will definitely be useful. All right, we've looked at our instructions and we have all our tools. There's only one thing left for you to do and that's to press that like and subscribe button. We're currently trying to get to 4,000 subscribers here on the show and I could really use your help. Uh, not that I would let the bull loose in your home or anything, but uh, the, the red subscribe button just right below. Yeah, but just right there. Don't worry, I'll take your time. I can teleport that bull. Look at it split. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We have all kinds of really neat projects coming up in the future, and having you here is going to be really awesome. All right, Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and build our bull. The Machine Planet Sterling Bull is a build that will test your attention to detail and patience. While the steps themselves are not that hard to do, after a few of them, and in later steps, you're bound to miss a few things here and there. The best part about these builds, unlike typical 3D metal models, is that you can take them apart over and over again without worrying about breaking any pieces. Yes, GB1, I still managed to break one screw, but for the most part, it's pretty hard to do. And they also give you extra parts, so that's good. As you can see, we've already started on our legs. One thing we need to do over and over again is make pancakes. No, not those, GB1. Do you know how much maple syrup that would be? Anyway, uh, what we need to do is take our screw and then add the parts one by one, taking note of previous parts and where they need to go if we're putting them in sequence. After placing all of our parts in sequence, we can then take our nut and secure the end. I call this whole assembly a pancake. Yeah, it is more like a kebab, isn't it? But 
Pancake has the word cake in it, and everyone loves cake, GB1. We continue with our pancakes, and over time, we'll have our legs. Now, we can move on to our first set of springs. Much like our other pieces, the springs are pretty straightforward, but later in the build, we'll need to take special note of when to attach them in the sequence. The thing to remember when it comes to our springs is that for the most part, there's always going to be two washers or two nuts to help secure the spring in place. To avoid damaging the springs, I also recommend waiting to secure the bolts completely until you have the spring in and around the right place. Overstretching the spring can warp them, and at the very end of the day, that'll make your model look kind of gross. Much like our springs, forming our wire is not too difficult. But if you overbend the wire or use too much strength when using your pliers, you can leave a few marks. Trying to get the wire into the spring can be a little bit tricky at this step. I found the longer the tail is of the wire after the hook made it a little bit easier for me to actually place the wire into the spring. For our butt details, these are really just pressure fitted, so again, they're really not that bad. Now we have some serious bending to do, and with our musical guest Little Stranger here, I think this session is going to be really awesome. Yeah, I know, we have musical guests! Saturn in my Saturn two-seater Got the hottie sitting shoddy at the bait the bun heater Cooler in the trunk and the sweat to the beater Got the bass in the woofer and the treble in the tweeter The bass in the woofer and the treble in the Okay, do me little favor, scoot your booty to the back Cause I dropped my cell phone and it wiggled down the crack Pardon me for the feeling, but you really are appealing Got my heart in my stomach and my feet upon the ceiling The point is feeling You got me upside down Be the point is feeling Be the point is feeling You got me upside down Heart in my stomach Heart in my stomach Heart in my stomach Anastasia, Anastasia with the doofle rocket lasers. I shot the look away, but you're my face, a sitting face. A bubbly little bunny, take it straight with the yeah, chaser. Yeah, she ain't your ordinary ornament, I'm a Samasa. So I we'll raise my face and raise the stakes, and I believe I'm floating for a moment, oh, there goes the gravity. Definitely stepping like a weapon at full speed, but I'm here to save the day. Call me Keanu Reeves. Please. To our horns. This is the only place in the instructions that I found an error. On step 121, our nuts are said to be put on one way, but in the next picture show a completely different orientation. Now you can choose either way here, but personally I found how the final picture looked to be a lot better, so I took mine apart and switched them around. Outside of this though, this is the only error I found in these instructions. Let's grab our last few pieces here and finish up our bowl. Took a trip around Saturn in my Saturn two-seater Got the hottie sitting shoddy at the bait the bun heater Cooler in the trunk and the sweat to the beater Got the bass in the woofer and the treble in the tweeter The bass in the woofer and the treble in the Okay, do me little favor, scoot your booty <laughs>
we have it. The Machine Planet Sterling Bull in all of its glory. This thing looks amazing when it's complete. And yes, there was quite a lot of parts and we did a lot of pancakes. But at the end of the day, when everything is said and done, I mean, just look at this thing. It's truly awesome. Now, can I recommend this build for new builders out there? Well, kind of. To be totally honest, regardless if you're building some of the easier ones out there or some of the more complex ones, because of how these 3D metal models are designed, well, they all kind of come together very similar. It's kind of like Lego in a weird way, but different. Kind of more metal-y and hardware-y. Now, I have to be really honest here. These metal models are quickly becoming some of my favorites, not just because of how they look. I mean, come on, it looks really cool. And you know that when you put this on your desk or in your workshop, it's going to turn a lot of heads. But also because these builds have been morphing at a really awesome rate. Machine Planet and the Moyo Store do a really good job of listening to customer feedback and actually update all of their models based on it. And you can definitely see that with things like our angular fish and with this build here. I mean, being that we only had one error in this particular model shows that they have done a lot of updating, which is really interesting to see. Typically with 3D metal models, once the model is released, even if there's problems, it's released and it's not going to get an update. That's just simply not the case with these guys, and you've got to respect that. Overall, I highly recommend the Sterling Bull from Machine Planet, especially for builders out there who have some experience and are looking to evolute their model game. And with that, Groovers, we're at the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Sterling Bull from Machine Planet with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to build your own Sterling Bull? Check out the Moyo store. They have all kinds of neat models on there, and at checkout, if you use code Groove, you'll get a discount and also be helping the channel. I think that's pretty neat. Until next time, Groovers, keep building. Timothy, how'd you find the key to the China shop?